it's useful to know that we often make ourselves unhappy so that we will motivate ourselves to do better, okay? It's just good to know that. And a way you can get at it is like maybe there's a bunch of challenges going on in your life, you know, which is pretty normal, right? And you're really unhappy about those things. If you were to ask yourself, well, what are you afraid would happen if I wasn't unhappy about that? The answer is always, well, I wouldn't do anything about it. If I was happy about it, I wouldn't do anything to change it, which is a nice hint there that we're using unhappiness to motivate ourselves to change things. So basically we're inflicting a little bit of psychic pain on ourselves to motivate us to do a better job, okay? And there is a better way to live. There is just a better way to live. We use guilt on ourselves and guilt is a heavy burden to bear, okay? We use that to motivate ourselves to be better people. And there's a nicer way to do it, you know? You could just decide to be a better person. You could just flow love into your life. You can just use the techniques that we're putting out here. You can ask for a miracle, you can ask for guidance, but ask from the, the bliss state, okay? Know that if you're making yourself unhappy, you're doing it to do a better job. And the reason you wanna do a better job is because you love yourself. So the reason you're making yourself feel terrible is because you love yourself. And that's just kind of crazy. It would be better to just love yourself and then go do a better job, okay? The reasons we make ourselves unhappy is to motivate me, to motivate others, or to demonstrate that I care. And you'll just have to check in and see if that's true. But when you get angry at somebody, you really want to motivate them. Or maybe, you, you know, get cold towards them. You're trying to motivate them to change their behavior so you can be happy. Or if you're beating yourself up with guilt and those kind of things, you just don't have to do it. And a lot of people get really sad to show that they care. But it takes so much energy to be sad that it takes all the energy that you could be putting into creating a solution. A lot of people get really angry at things, thinking that their fighting against it will change it. But fighting is just fighting. And the law of attraction is such that whatever you put in your field is in your field, okay? So if you're fighting against it, it's in your field, all right? So, you don't have to fight. You can note a problem, just note it, and then create a wonderful solution. But you create a lot better from a state of joy and happiness than from a state of sadness or guilt. So remember, bliss up, love up, stay happy. And when situations occur, Note the situation, maybe 5%, and then the other 95% of your energy is in creative solutions, creating, you know, asking for guidance. And don't put that middle step in there that you have to make yourself unhappy in order to motivate yourself to right action, okay? So just love up and know that life is good. Everything's gonna work out, it always does, and have faith.